Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia, the Dark Descent. Uh, in the last episode, we were captured by uh, Alexander's servants, people there, and we were brought to these cells, we managed to break our way out, and we just found the key that opened the door so we can get out. We've got a bucket of water and a bunch of other crap that we don't know what to do with yet, so uh, hopefully we'll figure that out. Alright. Oh! Oh dear! Okay. Oh no, pull! That's weird, the shadow is chasing us I guess? Oh, nope! Alright! That was certainly unexpected. Uh oh. I don't like those sounds. I don't like them at all. I really don't. This is bad. Just keep going, Daniel. I swear to God, don't you slow down. He has slowed down. Nave, there you go. Eesh, when Hazel turned 15, she had lived three years longer than Dr. Tate had foreseen. Her parents had given up from exhaustion and decided to have her committed for permanent treatment at Canterbury Hospice, but she was still alive. She had embraced him and wished him a grand adventure in Algeria. Okay. Cool. Damn you. Cells? Is this room? Is I think this is on the. Uh, this looks like the room we were at before. Any items around here, real quick? We should probably check. Also, haha, -ha, stupid shadowy darkness crap can't get through a loading door, can it? Yeah. Didn't think so. Alright, that seems to be another. Is there steam coming out from that, I guess? Steam that's making the rope move around? I don't know, let's read the note. Uh-oh. Why? No, please? Alexander became silent. He didn't know what to say. He can no longer recognize his friend sitting across the carriage. Huh? 18th of August, 1839. Tonight, we will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just outside Altstadt lies a small settlement. Zimmerman, a dairy farm, lives with his wife and three children. Huh, this is interesting. The coach went for him. Our visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike the Zimmerman down without alerting the others. I honestly wasn't expecting, uh... Take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. Yeah, I wasn't expecting an outside segment like this. We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now. Also, he's basically admitting that they just went to some perfectly normal farmer's house. The crying had stopped and he could hear a whisper coming from the cell. They were up to something and he would have to punish them. Yeah, he basically just admitted that they like went to a perfectly normal, innocent farmer's house and uh, killed him and all the farmhands and took his family's prisoners for the purpose of their torture and vitae extracting and all that. Um, so... Assuming, and I think it's safe to assume from the way he was talking just there, assuming that Daniel was aware that he was a perfectly innocent farmer, and so were his family and his farmhands, that means that at some point Daniel just kind of 
gave up on the pretense of thinking that everybody he was torturing were only uh, criminals. Sort of just decided to accept it. Okay. I'm guessing I put the bucket of water on here, because, yeah. This is exactly the same as the spot where we got the bucket of water from. Okay. I also assume I was supposed to do that. But I don't like the sound it made. Well. Um. Are we supposed to. Can we do this? No? Should not risk putting this down the well. I'm not sure what the end result might be. Oh, but we can put our bucket of water down the well? No. So what the hell did that do? We just put a bucket of water down the well and we didn't get anything back. We didn't get the bucket of water back either, because... I mean, I would have thought... I don't know. I don't know what this did, if anything. Alright. He's moving around down there. Oh, screw you. Oh, yep, this is the other side of the... Like I thought. Other side of the place we were at before. Picked up tinderbox. Did I miss this the first time through, or was it not here? Maybe they only just added it. I thought I remember picking one up. Alright, so that was the room with the machine in it that we messed with, and we didn't need anything out of there. Is this dark? I can't... I don't know. Um, that's blocked off, so it doesn't matter what that is. Oh boy, running over this stuff. Please don't hurt me. Please stop. Oh boy, the darkness is all over. Um. Jeez. My vision's super blurry because my sanity's not great. I'm not liking this. Not one bit. Super dark. There's no torches on the walls. Oh. The barrier I set up is dead. Shit. Screw you. Laboratory's open. That's nice. Let's go see how Agrippa's doing. Let's close this. Can't light any torches. Agrippa, buddy! I thought I'd lost you. The castle crumbled, and I could hear the chancel collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. Okay. Sure. Yeah, laboratory. What the hell's that, Agrippa? Game is still giving me tender boxes, but it's, uh,. To be honest, I don't see any torches. I think it looks like they all got destroyed. I know they're or, or covered with darkness. I'm pretty sure there was one right there. All right, laboratory. I guess this is where we mix his tonic. Only makes sense. Um, let's see what's around here. This thing, which we can't actually interact with. Oh wait, yes we can. Oh, that's for. Okay. I have an idea what that's for. You put ingredients in there, and you turn it so it crushes the ingredients up. I imagine we probably need to use the fungi on that. Alright. 
you out of the way. What's this thing? I have no idea. This would be a heady uppy majig. All right, cool. Uh, remains, bones, cover mucus, jar of blood. Yeah. So I figured that goes right there because we need. It said we needed to purify the blood first. Purify things typically by heating them up. Picked up incomplete tonic. Mm-hmm. Turn that off. All right. And I guess we'll put the poison gland in here so we can crush it up. Should not squeeze the juice out of the gland until the container is placed properly below. Oh, okay. Uh, there you go. Right, just turn that around. Squeeze them juices out. Incomplete tonic. That still gets left behind. Alright. And I guess... Tonic is not yet done according to buyer's instructions. Yep. Probably put this right there. And then... The bone with the mucus. In that thing. I have no idea what this machine is going to do. But uh, we'll see. Just sort of... Disintegrates the bone. Picked up Vyre's Tonic. Awesome. Okay, cool. Very cool. I'm liking this. We got the complete tonic. The tonic is completed according to Vyre's instructions. Uh huh. Oh, cut it out. Now, pay attention. First, feed me the tonic, and then use the saw to remove my head. As the tonic begins to work, you'll be able to cut off my head without taking my life. Then, take my head and bring it with you. As you enter the gate, Alexander is opening in the inner sanctum. What do you mean? Why wouldn't you enter the gate? We can't argue now. You need to act. Okay. Can't really get too close. Fed him the tonic. Quickly, off with the head. And then, by that hand, get me through the... Okay, off with the head, but I don't have a saw. Okay. Um... Is there a saw in here? Please be a saw in here. I really need a saw. Oh, that looks like a saw. Bone saw. Sweet. You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. Oh, sh sh shut up! Surgeon saw used for amputation. Ow! <laughs> Grip his head. Okay. I guess he can't talk to us anymore. That is weird. Agrippa's head. The severed head of Agrippa. So now we just need to go back through there. Is this going to be locked? Nope, it's not locked. We can just go on through. Okay. But then what the hell's over here? Because this wasn't a dead end. This isn't just for the saw. There's other stuff over here. Let me take a look around real quick. Oop. Get caught and everything. Uh. Okay. There's that thing. This. Oh, hold up a second. This seems like. It's, uh. Below where I put the bucket of water. These aren't. Things. That I can do anything with. Um. And there's a lot of blood in here. It won't budge. What if we use this? Can I use this item this way? This? Nope. <laughs> I know this won't make sense, but... Nope. Okay. Alright. Welp. The door won't budge. I don't know what's behind there, but it seems like we can just go ahead and... Stop Alexander, I guess. 
Ow! Stop it, you stupid thing! Just want a slight headache, a few cuts and bruises, take some laudanum. Cancel! Alright. If it wasn't for Alexander, he would still be innocent and be able to die so. Okay. Are there going to be monsters up here this time? Strongly suspect there will be. Wouldn't make sense any other way. I don't hear anything, though. Um, but he did say... He said something about going to the portal and putting his head in it. Sure, that makes sense. Okay, there are monsters around. The music is playing. Damn it. Or maybe the music is just playing for the... darkness stuff. I don't know. Ow. Please stop that. I think it's just playing for the darkness. Slight headache. A few cuts and bruises. Take some laudanum. I don't see any actual monsters. And there isn't uh, much space in here, so if one did appear, we'd be screwed. Which is basically what happened last time as well. I guess there's some uh, optional stuff that we must have missed because we still never got through that locked gate on the left bridge which had the machines behind it. We still never used the bucket of tar or the wooden crank. And then there's that locked door behind Agrippa with the uh, monster that uh, I presume that's where the monster was. We put the bucket of water down into the cell. So I guess there's some kind of optional stuff in here. Unless I'm jumping the gun and we're not actually done yet. Who knows? Alright. Pedestal has a smooth hemispherical depression at the top. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. There you go. An adhesive is necessary to make the ore pieces stick together. Oh, okay. How about tar? Alright. There you go, we got you one orb. Alright. What's our mementos say? No mementos are available! Oh boy. And no notes, okay. So we, we have to take this, I assume, right? Orb looks completed. Nope. Oh, okay. So it's just gonna connect to that, turn off the force field might have to take it after that. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Oh, ouch. Okay. Mentos, a mystic barrier blocks a passage in the chancel. The orb does not by itself remove the barrier. Something must be done with the machinery. Oh, crap. Never mind. There isn't any optional stuff we missed. Alright. Well then, in that case, let's head out here. I'm trying to listen for the music now. Because there's a very specific kind of music that plays whenever a monster is around. And that specific kind of music was playing. We were out here the first time on our way to put the board pieces together. I'm trying to see around these corners, but I guess I can't. Ow, stop, stop. 
Oh crap, we went the wrong way because the stuff made our vision go crazy. Bridge is out over there. I don't even remember what was over there. Damn. But yeah, the music has stopped, so either the darkness doesn't scare Daniel anymore, which it should, uh, or whatever monster was apparently roaming around is gone, which is good news for me. Okay. Don't suppose that gate is open. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Any other items in here I could pick up? Tinderbox? They went and... Did they just, like, go and respawn all the tinderboxes or something? So I could get them a second time? I guess I needed them? 5th of August, 1839. I cannot believe what I have become. One of the girls escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and... What is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? Sure, I would kill a murderer to save an innocent, but to kill an innocent to save myself? A cold-blooded murderer. Yep. Just like I guessed. At some point, he'd become complacent enough with what was happening to, uh, skip on to killing innocent people that he knew full well were innocent. And, uh, the girl that he talked about that was escaping was probably, uh, the wife or one of the daughters or something of that farmer they went and killed. Just a guess. Obviously, it's not necessarily the case, but, uh, seems to loosely imply that. Alright, so we gotta do something to stop all this machinery. This machinery is causing a nasty electrical thingamajig up there. Ow, I didn't... Come on, I didn't put my hand on the... In between them. Put my hand on that part. You cut some bruises. Yeah, we'll take... Leave the law in them for a minute. Um... Hammer and chip. Nope. Wooden crank. Nope. Okay. What is this thing? Shh. No object to use on. Yeah, there's nothing to even interact with here. Huh. This? It's not large enough to jam to jam the cogwheels. You sure? I God damn! I'm trying to pick it back up. What about over on this side? No. Fine. So we need to find something larger than that. That's relatively flat, I guess. Nope. Okay. Ugh. Really? What's all this now? What if, instead of making it larger, what if we cover it in tar? Huh? Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Or oil or whatever. This isn't actually doing anything, is it? Because it's not, uh... It's not actually, like, interacting. These are just objects we're picking up. Maybe we stick them together with the tar or something. I'm not sure. God damn it. Try the hammer next. Just toss that over there to save time. The hammer. What about that? Nope, and now that's behind them. Great. Never getting that back. Sure hope I didn't need it. I don't think I do, though. This doesn't look like the correct anything. I think this oil is a red herring. Um, over here. Nope. Nothing. Okay. 
Damn. Alright. And there's still that door behind Agrippa, but it was blocked. And we don't have anything to unblock it because... We don't have any other items. We had the bucket of water. The bucket of water wouldn't help here. And our current items can't get past the locked door. Why can't we interact with this at all? Why wouldn't this help? Maybe we just need to find a bigger item from up here. Like, what if we try a chair? Or a box? Let's try this. Not strong enough to jam the machinery. Of course, because it would break. Oh, and let's, uh, pick this up. Okay, we can't lift these big boxes. Can't lift that. Now um, these pipes? Bricks. No. Slightly bigger boxes? Oh, a rock. Duh, rock right next to us. Except these aren't flat. They wouldn't even be able to get between the ears, would they? So what if we try a smaller rock? see. Ow! Okay, let's take some laundum. Dang. That, uh, worked better than I thought it would. It didn't actually even break them, it just kind of forced them to stop for half a second, and I guess they're, uh, bit fragile. Alright. Let's go put a stop to Alexander. Oh, shit, you. Yep. Yeah, of course they spawn a monster. Alright. Let's just play the waiting game. If he finds me, uh... Nothing I can do about it. So this is nice. Nice, good uh, textures here on the wall. With the stone that looks completely flat like stone often does. And the metal with its uh, oddly perfectly square bolts keeping it in the wall. Yep. Like bolts always are. Perfectly square, I know that. I could have figured a monster was going to spawn after that. I think the music started up like right when I got to the top of the stairs. If it had started a little sooner, I probably would have noticed better. Okay. I still hear what sounds like the monster moaning, but the music has stopped. Crystal clear, all's good. Let's give some more of that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, like I said, maybe that sound is something else. Maybe it's not the monster moaning. Maybe that's the wind blowing outside in the in the bigger room. Because I do think there was some kind of sound like that when we're out in the big room with the bridges all over it. There's a slight sound of wind blowing, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe that's what we're hearing. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, the biggest of horrors! Caught in the wall! Shit! 
No, don't show me these Eldritch monstrosities. I can't handle this. Now I'm stuck behind the table. Damn it. Frictional games. Damn it. No. Don't do this. Please. If I quit now, it'll save and it'll reload me right back in the spot. Damn it all to hell. This is bad. This is really seriously bad. I can't uh, change my crouch position. And I can't jump the this stuff right here is making it so I can't jump high enough to get up on the table. Um I don't suppose. Oh uh, boy, oh boy. Uh Okay, well uh I was planning on making this the last episode and going in defeating Alexander. But now I'm going to have to end this here. Uh, probably just cut it, and I'll probably still make this the last episode. I don't know what I'm going to do. It'll, it, de it depends. We'll see how things happen, but I have to figure out a way out of this. And I think I'm going to have to... I mean, I mean, I imagine stuff like this must have happened to other people before. So I think I'll probably be able to find help online. <laughs> I'll uh, see you all in a second, or next time, or whatever, or something. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. I had to reload a save and go through all the process of putting the ore pieces in there and then uh, breaking the machine and then hiding from the monster again. So we have started back up. This time I walked up the stairs and just avoided touching that corner at all because holy shit, I don't want to get stuck again. And I also would like that monster to not come back because I'm quite certain we are at the end of the game now. The less crap I have to deal with, the better. Like, for instance, crystal clear, if you cut some bruises, let's take some laudanum and fix those up. There you go. So, it's kind of funny if you think about it. Wasn't the purpose of getting the orb to shut off the... the gate in here? Uh-oh, orb's gone. I guess Alexander stole it. But, um... If we... You know... If we still had to go destroy the machine, then what purpose did the orb serve? Did the orb help? Because we destroyed the machine. So if we destroyed it, it wouldn't be able to hit us with the electricity. So then, wouldn't it, like... Couldn't we just done it without the orb or something? I don't know. Maybe the orb serves some other purpose. Oh boy. Inner Sanctum. She cried and struggled as he pulled at her arm. Her flowered Sunday dress ripped and she fell into the mud. This is talking about the girl that he was... That Daniel was chasing. Okay. Down to the Inner Sanctum where we have to remember Agrippa told us to... Basically, go to the portal and put his head in it. Oh, shit! Darkness is behind us again. Um, what will not open? Okay. Uh, just going here or something? What's this? Ow. Not nice. What would that do? I stabbed myself. Get away. You shouldn't do that. Shouldn't. <laughs> Daniel, you need to be clear with me, dude. 
Do I have to go to the other side and do the same or something? I think the, uh... I think stabbing myself... Oh, hey. Note. Cool. I think stabbing myself was considered a small blood sacrifice, so it kept the darkness away? I guess that's what happened. 1839. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He plagued my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster. And now, I merely await my death. I am too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I am as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away, as we did with them. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's what happened. He, uh... Took the amnesia thing, the amnesia medicine, and made himself forget. This door will not open. Okay, I'm guessing we need to cut ourselves on this again. Um, let's read the memento first. The heavy door is sealed shut. Search for a way to open it. Oh, it's real descriptive. Thanks, game. Alright, guess do another blood sacrifice. It's the only thing I can think of. And now we have taken actual damage from doing that. Great. Fantastic. Still won't open. Um, any other levers? Just this one. I think if we lift this up, won't that, uh, let the darkness back in here? Hmm. Any other... No, that's still going. Hmm. Alright, let's try the lever. Oh? That's weird. Okay, it will n it will not budge. Or will not open. Yeah. Why why won't it though? All right. Hmm. This is getting frustrating. I just wanted the game to end. I didn't want to have to do a crazy weird puzzle. Uh oh. My sanity has just dropped. For no reason. Guess that's still not opening. Alright. Let's stay on this again. Uh oh. on the light. Psst. Yeah, we're fucked. That's what it should read instead of ellipsis. You're screwed. Oh, hey, cool. We got a little bit back. And, uh, I'm gonna assume that opened the door. Ow. Sheesh. Take some laudanum, we don't want to get killed in the middle of this. Orb chamber. He had turned angry. It was easy to take her insolence and make her the villain in this story, but she didn't deserve to die. Even he could see that. Okay. Well. I was wondering if you were going to show up. 
I see Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa? Nope, I don't. Okay. We need to, uh... Wait for the portal to open, I guess. I assume it's up there. Can we just do this now? The portal has not opened yet. Okay. Alright. We'll just wait for that to happen. I guess. You can taunt us all you like. Alexander, you can't do shit. Because you went and... Locked yourself over there, and we're over here. Nope, not open yet. Alright. Just play the waiting game, I suppose. Nice uh, music, I guess, to make us feel like we're going crazy or something. Not sure. Music isn't very, uh. You know. Isn't very loud at this part. Nope. Not opened yet. Okay. It was in the diaries. No. Notes. Last prisoner note. Notes on torture. Mementos. No mementos are available. Okay. No clues as to what to do. I assume the portal will open itself eventually. Maybe. Maybe not. We have to mess with these things. The pylon is unstable and on the verge of falling over. Nope, I think if we do that, it'll stop the portal from opening. Oh! The whole other world isn't it beautiful, whatever you're saying, I don't care. Oh. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Ouch. Okay. Finally returned home. It's not open quite yet. Okay. Alright. Just gotta wait, I guess. You know what? Let's, let's have the head on ready. Oh, there you go. Goodbye, Alexander. Oh, goodbye, Daniel. And there's just some rose petals falling into a cloud and forming stars by the looks of it. I'm not sure. You interpret whatever you want to see. Oh, wait. Oh, I can move. Oh, I thought this was a cutscene. Okay. There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. Please, help him. I know you can. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. Okay, so I guess that was Vire. Frictional Games Production! Alright, credits. Um, yeah, so we had found out from notes and from talking to Agrippa that Vire had, uh, basically transcended his, like, mortal body and, uh, became an ethereal being, traveling the stars and all that, so I guess that was Vire that we just saw there, and since we both saved, uh, Agrippa and killed Alexander, I guess Agrippa basically put in a good word with for us with his buddy Vire, and, uh, 
Vyra ended up saving us from the darkness and turning us into an ethereal being like him as well. So that's cool. And uh, I suppose that's a pretty fitting end for Daniel. Um, to be honest, Daniel isn't like a super deep character, so it's kind of hard to say um, whether or not he deserved that ending, because he obviously did a lot of horrible stuff. Uh, he killed people who at first he thought were criminals, but I think eventually he did know better and realize that they were innocent, at least on some level. Maybe he didn't admit it out loud to himself, but I think in some level he at least subconsciously must have known. Um, and then of course with the farmer and his wife and daughters and all that, uh, he did, you know, eventually just straight up go to the point of kidnapping innocent people and torturing them for their purposes. Um, so, you know, he did a lot of horrible stuff just to try and save his hide from the darkness, but at the same time, he regretted it eventually after he realized what he had done. ODN314? the hell? Was it some kind of code or something? I don't know. Not important. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it seemed like he was a good person before the the darkness started attacking him, and therefore he had incentive to go to horrible lengths, and he seemed to try to become a good person afterwards, because he was trying to fix what he did and everything. At the same time, though, becoming an ethereal being with nearly limitless power and the ability to travel around the universe doing whatever the hell you want, it's a pretty big reward for somebody who's still a horrible murderer, even if in the end they you know, tried to turn things around. Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, either way, though, we saved Agrippa, and I think that's more important. Agrippa, I don't know why Alexander was saying we don't, you know, questioning us whether or not we see any evil in Agrippa, because I honestly didn't. At any point, in everything that Agrippa said, and in anything from the notes that we read about Agrippa, he never seemed to have done anything reprehensible that would have made us consider that he was a bad guy. Um, I mean, he, he was studying the orbs, but that doesn't make you evil just because the orbs are evil. Well, how can you know the orbs are evil until after they've been studied, you know? And, like, him and Alexander and Vire were, like, the only people doing that, so uh, they couldn't have known until, you know, it was too late, basically. So, yeah, I don't know. Either way, I'm glad with that ending because I, I saved Agrippa, and I think he was a cool dude. And, uh, now we're at the end. Just gonna load, go back to the screen. Okay, cool. So that was it. That was Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Overall, I thought it was a very, very good game. I'm very happy I played it. It was spooky scary in all the right ways and all the wrong ways in a well as well, because... I think I've mentioned it before during this playthrough, but uh, I'm not a big fan of actually being scared. I like survival horror games because I like the survival kind of gameplay of having to conserve your resources and use them carefully and everything like that. Whether it's Resident Evil having to conserve healing items and ammunition and knowing when and where to shoot an enemy or not and things like that and, and, and when it's best to run past them and everything or in this game when it's you know conserving your oil and your tinder boxes and all that I like the survival sort of gameplay of survival horror games and I also really like the settings and atmosphere and the you know stories and stuff like that those are always fun because having a, a spooky sort of gothic cathedral, or not, not cathedral, I'm sorry, gothic castle type setting like in this, that's a fun setting, you know, and to me the setting and atmosphere is uh, a huge part in whether or not I enjoy a game, so I really did enjoy this though, I have to admit, I wasn't a fan of all the parts where I got chased by monsters because those aren't fun, I don't like being chased by things that can easily kill me, it's scary and I don't like scary, but uh, yeah, anyway, overall, very good game, hope you all enjoy this. And I hope you all continue to enjoy whatever freaking game I play next. I don't know what it's going to be. I haven't planned it out yet, but I really should. I'll see you all next time. 
Bye-bye.